Here on the ACC Digital Network, Tom Wormy, along with Riley Skirner, the former Wake Forest quarterback, and the head coach of the Maryland Terrapins, Randy Etzel. Coach, thanks so much for your time. Last year, to say your quarterback situation was dicey is probably an understatement, <laughs> but you've got C.J. Brown back healthy. How much is he looking forward to getting back into that position and helping you guys this season? Well, he, he's, he's chomping at the bit to, to get back, and, you know, it's just amazing to see the, the, the work that he's put in to rehab and get himself in a position now to, to, to be cleared fully to go out to start practice on August the 5th. And, um, you know, he's, he's just um, – I think he's a better quarterback now because of having to go through what he did and then having to help coach up those younger kids. I think he saw the big picture a little bit better now and and also understands even more about our offense. But so I expect him to even be a better leader than what he was a year ago. And, and I think the kids understand that you know, what type of person he is. But I'm, I'm just really happy for him and anxious for him to get back out and, and have the kind of success that I know that, uh, that he can have for us. Coach, you've got one of the best playmakers on the outside in Stephon Diggs. But at the running back position, uh, Wes Brown and Justice Pick, both running backs that have, uh, are not part of the program right now. What is that role looking like, and who do you see stepping up to fill that void? Well, I think, you know, we have uh, Brandon Ross, who at the end, towards the end of the year, who came in and started and had some big games against Clemson and North Carolina. We got Albert Reed, who we have a tremendous amount of confidence in. Joe Riddle, a uh, young man that we redshirted, who's got outstanding speed, had a really good, um, you know, spring practice for us. And then uh, 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 we have Jaquiel V, who is a, a freshman, true freshman, that'll be on campus. and and starting for us there and then uh, but we have confidence in all those guys but I think that uh, you know between if you know we don't know the situation like I said with Wes right now but uh, um, with Brandon and Albert and Joe you know I feel very very confident that those guys can do the job that we want them to do at the running back position. It is a bit of a transitional season for you what is the approach that you're taking with your team? Well, I really don't look at it as a transitional season at all. I look at it as, hey, uh, we have a tremendous schedule in the ACC. We're going to be going against uh, great competition, great players, great coaches. And again, our whole approach is that uh, we're focused and intent to, to be better and to, to make sure we go out and prepare the right way and, and do all the things that we're supposed to do to try to get as many victories as we possibly can. And, and the bottom line is that we're playing in the Atlantic Division and we're looking to try to win that, and we're trying to get to the championship game and get ourselves in a BCS game. So to me, it's, it's a tremendous opportunity, a tremendous challenge, and one that uh, you know, our players are looking forward to um, with very much uh, eagerness and uh, readiness to, to go out and put last year behind us with all those injuries that we had. Coach, who's the one player on the defensive side of the ball that has stood out to you this offseason, particularly a young guy? Well, I think one of the young guys that has a chance to be really good for us uh, up front is Quentin Jefferson, a defensive lineman. You know, we hadn't played him a little bit last year, and but I think he's grown and developed, and he's matured. He's gotten stronger. Um, you know, I think he's got a chance to be a, a really good football player for us. So, really anxious to see what uh, what he does as we get started on August the fifth. Well, coach, we appreciate your time, and best of luck to the Terps in 2013. Thank you. Appreciate it very much. All right. Thank you. And thank you for watching the ACC Digital Network brought to you by Ruby Tuesday.